just tens, hundreds and thousands. So children, let us practice some problems on this rounding of the numbers in the exercise part. So let us go to the exercise 1.6. So there are some word problems in exercise 1.6 on in this rounding concept. So we will practice so one or two problems on word problems. So exercise 1.7. So solve the following word problems. So there will be given some word problems on rounding of concept. So let us see one problem on this word problems. So children let us see the first problem. You want to distribute sweets for your class on your birthday. There are 36 children in your class. How many sweets will you take rounded to the nearest 10? So children read the problem again. You want to distribute sweets for your class on your birthday. So your birthday. So there is your birthday and you want to distribute sweets for your students in the class. And there are 36 children in your class. So the strength of your class is 36. How many sweets will you take rounded to the nearest 10? So students, so how many sweets will you take to the class to distribute them? So by rounding the given strength to the nearest 10. So here you have to round it the given strength to the nearest 10. Then you will get that number of sweets. So how many students are there in your class? So how many students are there? So there are 36 students in your class. Therefore number of, number of children in the class. Number of children in the class is equal to 36. So children there are 36 children in your class and you have to rounded this 36 to, to nearest 10. So rounded, so rounding to nearest to 10. So rounding to nearest to 10. So round this 36 to nearest to 10. So what will you get if you round this 36 to nearest to 10? So which number you will get? So let us see already we have explained in the previous one. So how to round the given number to nearest to 10? So first identify the digit present in the tens place. Here we want to round the number to the nearest to 10. So that's why identify the digit present in the tens place. Here the digit present in the tens place is 3. Then check the next digit to it. The next digit is 6. If the next digit is greater than 5, then we have to round the given number to next tens. That means write the next tens. Here 6 is greater than 5. So write the next tens. Here 3 is present in the tens place. So after 3 we will get to 4. So then the number becomes 40. See 40. So write the next tens and keep 0 for the remaining digits. There are There is one digit after tens place. That's why we have to keep 0 for the remaining places. So the number becomes 40. So how many sweets you have to take for distribute? So you have to take 40 sweets. So you have to take 40 sweets to distribute for your virtual. So you have to take... So you have to take 40 sweets to the class. So children in this way, so we can answer this any such type of word problems. So in this problem, we have to round it the given number to nearest 10. Here the given number is 36. That means the total number of children in the class is 36. And we have to round that number to nearest 10. So if you round that this 36 to nearest 10, we will get 40. So that means you have to take 40 sweets to your class to distribute for your students in the class. So this is the way we have to solve this type of word problems. So exercise 1.7. So let us practice some problems on rounding off. So the first problem is round off to the nearest 10. So there are given some numbers. And now we have to round off these numbers to nearest tens. 
So here the first number is 42 and if you round this number to nearest 10, so what will we get? So nearest 10 means first identify the digit present in the tens place. So the digit present in the tens place is 4 and check the next digit. The next digit is 2. If the next digit is less than 5, keep the same tens. And if the next digit is greater than 5, so write the next tens. Here 2 is less than 5, so keep the same tens. That means keep the same tens, that is 4, and keep 0 for the remaining digits. So there is one digit after the tens place, so keep 0 in that place. So the answer becomes, so 40, 40. So, first identify the digit present in the tens place, that is 4 is present in the tens place and next identify the next digit, the next digit is 2, if the next digit is less than 5, then keep the same tens. So, next digit is 2 and it is less than 5, so keep tens, same tens, that is 4 and write the zeros for the remaining digits. So, there is one digit after tens place, so we have to put one zero in the last. So, the answer is 40. Next. See the second problem that is 562. So identify the digit present in the tens place. Here 6 is present in the tens place. And identify the next digit. The next digit is 2 and it is less than 5. Then keep the same tens. That means write the same tens. No change in the tens. So there are 6 tens in the number. So write the same tens. So that is 560 and write zeros for the remaining digits. So there are only one digit after tens place. So write a zero in that place. So the number becomes 560. So if you round the given numbers to nearest tens, you will get one zero at the ones place. Next, second problem, round off to the nearest hundred. So children, so there are two problems are given. Now we have to round these two numbers to nearest 200. So how can we round the given number to nearest 100? So first identify the digit present in the hundreds place. Here the digit present in the hundreds place is 6. So the digit present in the hundreds place is 6. So check the next digit. The next digit is 3 and 3 is less than 5. So that's why we have to write the same hundreds, that is six hundreds. So if the next digit is less than five, write the same hundreds, that is six hundreds. There is no change in the hundreds place and there are two digits after hundreds place. So write two zeros after the hundreds place. So the number becomes 8600. And see the second number 27,390. So first identify the digit present in the hundreds place. The digit present in the hundreds place is 3. Check the next digit. The next digit is 9. So if the next digit is greater than 5. So here 9 is greater than 5. Then write the next hundreds. Here 3 is present in 100's place, that means 3 100's are there. So write the next 100, the next 100 becomes 4 and write zeros for the remaining digits after and place. So here, so 27 should not be changed and write the next 100's, so that is 4 100's and put 2 zeros after next digits. So there are two digits of, after 100 space. So write two zeros in the last. So that's why if any number is rounded to 100, you will get two zeros at its last. If any number is rounded to tens, you will get one zero at its last. So now we will do some problems on rounding to nearest to 1000. So rounding to nearest to 1000. So children, so see some problems on a rounding off to nearest to 1000. So let us practice some problems. So rounding off to nearest to thousands. So the first one is 3792 and you take another problem and that is 5,77,600. So 
645. So children, so I have taken two problems in this section. So let us do how to round off the given number to nearest to thousands. Thousands means identify the digit present in the thousands place. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So three is present in thousands place. Next, check the next digit. The next digit is 7 and it is greater than 5. If the next digit is greater than 5, then write next thousands. Here the thousands are 3, the next thousands becomes 4. And keep zeros for the remaining 3 digits after the thousands place. So the answer becomes 4000. So children, so the next digit is 7 and it is greater than 5. So write next to thousands. So here 3 thousands are there. So the next thousands becomes 4. So write next to thousands 4 and put zeros for the remaining digits after thousands place. There are 3 digits after thousands place. That's why we have to keep 3 zeros after 4. That becomes 4000. So let's see the second number 5 lakhs 77,645. So now we have to round this number to nearest to thousands. So first identify the digit present in the thousands place. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So seven is present in thousands place. And check the next digit. The next digit is 6 and it is also greater than 5. So if the next digit is greater than 5, then write next to thousands. So here there are 7 thousands. The next to thousands becomes 8 thousands. So write the next to thousands. So that means there are 7 thousands. So after 7 thousand we will get 8 thousand. So write 8 thousands and keep zeros for the remaining digits present after thousands place. So there are 3 digits after thousands place. So write 3 zeros after thousands place. So the number becomes 50, that means 5 lakhs, 78,000, 5 lakhs, 78,000. So children, this is the way how to round the given numbers to nearest to thousands. So if any number is rounded to thousand, then the answer contains three zeros at its last. So here also three zeros at its last. So this is the problems on this rounding of numbers and there are some more problems in this exercise and practice the remaining problems in this exercise in the PDF you have given. The next topic in this chapter is Roman numerals.